Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Terra Special. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download air quality data from Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem. So, open your browser and just type in Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem and hit the button search. You can see the first link. I'll be uh, sharing this link in the description. Please do check it out. Now, click on this link and this is the web page. Now, select Explore Data and select Copernicus Browser. So the web page has been loaded successfully. The next thing is we are going to log in. Hit the button login within a few seconds. So you can just, uh, if you are already registered, please put your email ID and password. If you aren't registered, you can simply register by clicking on this button. So it's just uh, very easy to create an account. In 60 seconds, you can uh, create an account. You just have to give your uh, email ID and personal details like name. So now hit the button login. So we have logged in successfully. And after logging in, we need to go to the place which we are interested in. In this case, I'm going to choose Chennai. So Chennai, India, just for example, you can change the base map by clicking over here. So I'm going to use the OSM background data. And you can see here, this is the, this is the location where Chennai is there geographically. Now in order to uh, select the area of interest, please select this button and you can select this option, draw rectangular area of interest. Select it and click on the place anywhere. Just once click, you can draw a box like this and you can once again click to finish the box you can reduce the size by clicking on this corner you can drag it like this you can reduce it or increase it at the top you can find the area in square kilometers now the next thing is go to the option search and data source so for air quality, Sentinel 5P provides us the data sets. So select Sentinel 5P. So here you can see a lot of data sets available, Cloud, CO, HCSO, NO2, SO2, O3, CH4, like a lot of products are available. So I'll show you for NO2. The steps is uh, basically same for the other data also. You can choose any among them, NO2, SO2. And after choosing it, come down. You can see the time range. Select the time range. So I'm going to choose 2023, January month. Select the date, day. And I need it to 2024, March 4. You can uh, choose the hours and minutes also or you can also filter by using months you can remove the months which you are not interested in simply you can do it now hit the button search so within a few seconds you'll be getting the results so let me zoom out so that we can have the extent of the data so let us see yeah this image covers our entire area. You can click zoom to the product. You can also find the details about the product by clicking on I option. You can see the extent of the image. And you can find the product description over here. When it was taken. Like this. Our instruments, platform. You can find all the uh, all the product info in this uh, option. Now let us have a view of this uh, image by clicking visualize. So we have chosen nitrogen oxide NO2. So here Copernicus has given a legend. You can see from uh, low to high the legend is being classified. Now, in order to download this image, 
Uh, first, uh, let me zoom into the area. So you can see uh, some spaces over here. So these and all, uh, there's the data gaps because uh, they might have a cloud cover. So the data gaps is there. So for uh, finding out a better image, you can browse and browse for some more images. So let me visualize this one. Yeah. So this one for my area of study, no data gaps is there. So we can just proceed with this image itself. So for downloading this image, for visualization, you can download this image directly by clicking on this option, download image. And here, you can download the image directly by basic option without georeferencing. If you want, you can have the legends also. You can download this image without georeferencing. You can use it for presentation or comparison. Likewise, you can use it. Otherwise, if you want it for analytical, the image will be available with a georeference format. So here you can choose the uh, file format as uh, TIFF, high resolution. You can choose the uh, projection, visualized, yeah. You can just uh, download this image. So let us download this first. So we have downloaded this image. You can also download the basic version of this image. So let me show you how it looks like. Let me download this image. You can directly visualize the image. The second which we have downloaded, you can see. You can see the legend and the amount of concentration. So let us close this. So if you want the entire or the original quality of the or the direct, uh, if you want to directly download the product. So close here and once again go to the option search. So here we have chosen the image. This is the image which you have chosen. Yes, this is the one. So now you can uh, hit the button download. So automatically the processing will be begun. So let us have a look at the downloaded image. The JP, uh, that is uh, the TIFF image which we have downloaded. Let us have a look at it by clicking in the show in folder. So this is the downloaded image. You can see here. So we just have a view of it in ArcGIS. So the original image has been already is also been downloaded. It is around 60.2 MB, which we have downloaded. Okay. So that can be. Uh, let us have a look at it also. So this is the image which we have downloaded. Let me extract the file. So the file is in the NC format. We need to convert it. So that will be shown separately. You can pause it. Now let us have the look at the image which we downloaded as TIFF raster. So let me add this image. You can see how the image looks like. So it is a the cropped image, the extent of for our study area. So it can be just viewed or you can just use it for mapping. You can uh, bring out the legend from the Copernicus. We can't do any analysis with this. We can just uh, use it for visualization. So for analysis, you can use this image and see file. So in the upcoming videos, we'll be covering how to uh, convert this NC file in JS platform. 
so thanks for watching if you have any other doubts please do ask in the comment section thanks for watching goodbye everyone